Today we're going to make chicken stock. While simple, there are a few things that can go wrong. It's one of the most important things to be prepared in the professional kitchen. At some point, every section in the kitchen will use chicken stock for something. And it has endless applications for the home kitchen as well. So I have some leftover bones from a roast chicken. And I'm going to put them in the oven at the highest setting and I'm going to put a bit of color on them. You can use raw chicken bones as well, just cook them a bit longer. In the meantime, we're going to make our bouquet garni. So I have a variety of thyme in here from the garden, some parsley stems, and some tarragon. And I'm going to wrap them in between two leek leaves here. We're just going to go around a couple of times with the string. Wrap it tight, tie a knot, and leave a little bit of extra string on one of the ends for the knot. You can use this extra bit of string and tie it to one of the ends of the pot handles. This way your bouquet garni stays in one place. So now we have a bit more color on our chicken bones, but we can use a little bit more. Also keep in mind that today we're making a brown chicken stock. You can also make a white chicken stock. Simply repeat the steps you see in this video, just don't roast your bones. So right now I'm adding some vegetables. I'm adding half of the amount. Carrot, celery, onion, leek, garlic, and mushrooms. I'm saving the rest of the amount for later. So we're going to put this back in the oven. And the vegetables we've just added will caramelize and add another level of flavor. Okay, so it's been about 20-25 minutes. And this is what we're looking for. Nice color. So we're going to deglaze with some very dry white wine, about a glass. So we're going to shake this up a little bit and all of those delicious morsels of caramelized meat and vegetable and reduction will come up and we're going to put it into our pot. Keep rinsing the roasting pan until it's clean and make sure you don't waste any of the juices. They should all go in the pot and then fill all the bones and vegetables to the top with cold water. It's important to use cold water or your stock will be cloudy. Now we're going to add the rest of the vegetables. So after about 20 minutes, our stock is coming together here. This should never boil, it's just simmering very gently. So now we're gonna put in our bouquet garni. I'm gonna cook this for about another 15 to 20 minutes. So it's been about 20 minutes. I'm happy with the color of the stock. And now we're going to remove all the bones and vegetables slowly. Something to keep in mind while making stock is that longer is not always better, with the exception of veal stock. At a certain point, you're going to start losing flavor. So we passed our stock, and we still have a little bit of fat floating on the top. You can use a ladle, twirl it around, and then go along the edges and scoop it out. You can also keep the stock in the fridge overnight, and the fat will float to the surface, and you can remove it once it's solidified. Also, if you want to take your stock and make crystal clear consomme, just like this one here, I have another video coming out soon. If you're interested, please check that out. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to see further recipes and techniques, please like and subscribe. Happy cooking!